Tim? Hi, Tim. Hi, I'm Lydia. Lydia, nice to meet you. I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Marty, thanks for organizing this deal. Yeah, no problem. It's a good ride, so I think you guys will like it. Mm. I, I say that I say that before I wreck. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, at least you got a front brake, man, you know. At least I got a front brake. I'm... Oh my gosh. If I, uh, if I lose my chain. It will be. Like, I hope you, you guys. Do pedal backwards to make it stop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got a. Yeah, I, I built his wheels, so he's got good, good solid wheels on there. I'll put all 200 pounds on that, ba <laughs> on that back pedal trying to slope this fireball down. Just well, lean forward when you, when you brake. <laughs> so you can, so you can, you know, drag that, that back wheel. It's kind of like riding fixed gear in a way. Except you don't have to pedal the whole time. Just, you know, explain to the paramedics that I love my mother. I've got my ID in the back pocket here if you need to, like, you know, the coroner is interested in who I actually am. Yeah, the, is this guy Dan? He showed yeah, up. Yeah, 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 we don't know who showed up out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> well, we shall embark. Now, man, it's cross country for the first 10 miles. You got to earn that downhill. Hello. Yeah. Stop the parking lot. Oh, okay. We'll wait up for him then. We'll stop. We'll stop at the lodge and wait for him. Pretty mean looking biker gang here. <laughs> I think we can hold our own. I'm sure. Man, the old single speed. Because I, I, I live down here, right? Yeah. Just coming up these hills, man. And I'm not, like, conditioned, right? Yeah, it's but, good exercise, though, man. You'll uh, you'll build a lot of leg strength on that thing. The old 59 Corvette. Okay. Sweet. No, it's so cool. I don't know what year this Diamondback is. It's, like, mid-80s, late-80s. Yeah, that looks like... I mean, Sorrento. It was in my junkyard for a while, and I'm just like looking at it like, hmm, that's got horizontal dropouts. Oh, there he is. He came. He wasn't far behind us. I guess I should probably strap this on. Ah. No fancy dropper post for you, huh? No. <laughs> My wife's boy was riding it. Yeah, what a day, huh? Thank you. 
too many reservoirs. Say what? <laughs> so there's so many reservoirs. Like 300. Yeah. Endless, About. really. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, like uh, I actually make a little mount that you can put a fishing rod on your bike and then you can really head out to the backcountry and get the lakes that nobody goes to. Yeah, I mean they make those like fly rods that break down, but yeah, if you're just going to put it on your bike, you go much further you can get. Yep. Anywho. It's kind of fun. Well, dirt. We hit the dirt now. Yeah. Time to hit the dirt. I just keep on going on up this way. Just want to make sure everybody goes the right direction. Mm. Getting it. Getting it, baby. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, pretty much. This is definitely my, my mountain clunker here. Second generation, at least, anyway. I know it's not a, a Schwinn. But, whatever, I'm a millennial, so I figured I would just make a second gen clunker. Yes. How long have you been here? Been there a little over two years. Oh, so relatively recently. Yep. That's cool. Are you from this area? Uh-huh. I've been back here since 2011. I grew up in Delta. Oh, really? And uh, moved in 1995. Yeah. 
Where'd you move to? Nebraska. What? <laughs> My parents. Okay. I was in high school. Okay. So. That makes more sense. You have less calories. Yeah, I tried to stay in Colorado, but it didn't didn't pan out. My dad won the custody battle, so it's I mean. As many people as ride out here, it's seldom ever run into another rider, like just road riding. Yeah, I believe that. There's not a lot of road riders though either. Like I most people, I, I mean, I might sell two or three road bikes a year at the shop. Well, there's not really. There's great like road, road riding. riding. Oh, but there is. Really? <laughs> it's epic. Really? We have like more desolately populated paved roads in Delta County than anywhere I've really lived. Okay. Like, you'll... I just feel like every redneck with his, like, quadruple-sized truck wants to kill me. Nah. <laughs> Only if you're, like, on the main highway, but, like, there's so many back roads that you can take, okay. and... Yeah. And it depends where you ride. Cedar Edge ain't bad. Olathe's a little worse. I guess I just see people riding up 92 to that's sketch yeah and i'm here for this field i've done that <laughs> once and it's so pretty like i think why you'd want to ride it north road that's is better terrifying. like there's a there's a road that runs parallel to that and it's way nicer yeah. you gotta climb to get there but it's still way nicer yeah. and they're actually building a bridge in hotchkiss to to uh connect the town to the bike trails park they have there right now you have to uh you got to ride over the bridge where cars are and it's a thin lane and cars are hauling ass yeah and it's like the little bridge with the sheep are yeah it's like when you're in hotchkiss and heading out towards crawford so they're going to build another bridge just for bikes and, and complete a path all the way out there Take a little break here. I'm so out of shape. You're doing fine. So unfortunate. You're not like totally dripping sweat and like on eight. You're able to keep on a conversation. <laughs> that says a lot about I cardio. But I used to be pretty in shape. I don't know. I feel bad for you guys that have um, like two to three gears on your bikes. <laughs> or one. Yeah, or one. If you have less than five speeds, uh, I love it. this one's good. geared pretty much ideal for cross country riding though. Yeah. So I can so climb like it pretty easily, gear. but, yeah. um, you'll all probably pass me going downhill because I'll spin out on that thing pretty quick. No, I'm a little baby. I don't like going fast. <laughs> I got little brave while ago. I had one of those watches that'll tell you how fast you're going. And I've been able to get up to 40 miles an hour and I was terrified and that was, but I claim it. So I got going 40 once on a bicycle. I think we should all be really proud of me. Nice. <laughs> I think I hit a rock the size of my fist doing about 50 once. Ah, and I bad. thought I was going to wipe out too, but all it did was flex my fork a little bit. Like the carbon fork actually went bloop. I can't believe you did it. Right shape, it came back to the right shape. It came back to the right shape. I still ride that bike to this day. Nice. It didn't damage anything. I, I just sure. thought I was going to like, you know, it'd be like hitting a pebble on a skateboard. I was just going to flip over yeah. and and eat shit going down the hill at 50 miles an hour. That's, that's you said the size of a baseball? How big? It was about the size of my fifth. Yeah, about yeah, the size of a baseball. Crazy, big old rock going super fast downhill on this huge uh, grade. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, I'm, I don't know how I made it. <laughs> it did, you know, it made me destabilize for a second, yeah. but that's it. Held it together, baby. Held it together. I, I only crashed once at 50 miles an hour and that was on rollerblades what yeah I'm a, I'm a downhill freak I can't help it I like to blades? fucking haul ass downhill how do you know you're going that fast you have like blades? pads and like all no stuff. I had the not even do you have a baseball cap on to protect your fall <laughs> board shorts and a tank top 50 miles an hour under rollerblades I wasn't planning on going 50 miles an hour on my rollerblades that day but I just 
was out. I was like, ah, because I had been doing bombing hills and I was pretty confident in my skills. So I'm just like, oh, it's just rollerblade. What's this? Oh, this looks cool. Oh, shit. What's it that? Going. It keeps going. It was like one of these where it's like levels out and then goes. <laughs> it's so it's like I was already doing 20. Couldn't stop. I was like, oh, this looks really steep up here. Shit. Okay, now I'm at the point of no return. Speed wobbles come on. And then after a while, the speed wobbles go away. You Broke somehow sound. stabilize out of them. Broke the sound barrier. And then it ended in a T-intersection. Huh? The, there was an intersection at the bottom. It was no! a T-intersection. Okay. So I was like, but, straight, yes. crash, right, keep going downhill, left, maybe go uphill a little bit. So I tried to go left, but centripetal force threw me down right. to the ground, and I just rolled into the curb. Option C, turn <laughs> option A again. So road rash, pretty much from the neck down. I didn't hit my head. Just sliding along. Just rolled. I rolled and dislocated both of my shoulders, though. Uh, like, uh, I'm like, pretty good about not hitting my head on stuff, but pretty bad about everything else. What? what? You dislocated both your shoulders, so you couldn't even, like, try to pop one back in? No, they were. They popped arm. back in, but, like, one was very... I thought it was broken because I couldn't move it, but I went and saw a nurse, and she's like, no, you just dislocated it. Like, did anybody see you? Did no, that's the thing that pissed me off is I... Yeah. Fuck! Where's the video camera? Yeah. Like, you need to at least make some YouTube. Yeah. There was a car that came down the hill that saw me like getting getting up and shit. And they, I'm sure they looked at me. And I was all bloody, but walking up the hill. <laughs> the rollerblades, man. Took the most painful shower in the world. I, I had all the asphalt in my skin. I had to scrape yeah. that out. Little, little, little. And I hate when you do stuff like that because I feel like a week later you're like, the fuck, you're still, still picking more. it out of me. There's still more. No, I don't have any scars from it though because I. I did what some people recommended and just like used vitamin E oil and hemp oil and stuff on it for like three weeks. Yeah. But I was literally like scarred all both arms, shoulder, just, hip. Just a giant scab. Basically, <laughs> like it was, it was very painful, actually. Just bathe yourself like a vampire and then just <laughs> baby oil or whatever. I never knew road rash hurt that much, but it was very painful to have that many scabs. Fifty percent of your body, I can yeah, imagine. basically. Plus the the bone injuries, my hip is still fucked up from that shit. The bone injuries. Did I didn't break any bones, but I, I probably messed a few of them up. I'll probably need like a titanium hip in twenty years. <laughs> Think of how it could have gone. You know, you could have been destroyed. Right? Yeah, that could have. I could have easily died for sure eaten by the coyotes and stuff, dragged off into the forest. <laughs> it was in downtown Oceanside, so. Coyote, well, there's coyote. I mean. More likely a crackhead would have yeah, found me. Yeah, a crackhead me. will eat you. <laughs> when you didn't have any drugs or money to give them, then right. they like, well. I don't think I even had my wallet or anything on me, so they would be like, oh, unidentified <laughs> man. <laughs> You're definitely not going to heal up. I'll start with the toes. <laughs> Well, fun. Ocean, dude. Of course, your ocean side is like with your shorts and tank top. <laughs> roller just rollerblading. <laughs> like, rollerblading. Oh, man. There's not many places you can rollerblade anymore, but Oceanside sounds like one of them. I guess it's coming back in. Yeah. Really? All the kids these days, they got their rollerblades. I haven't really been on rollerblades much since that. <laughs> I did strap on my, I still have some. And I just put them on like a couple months ago to see if I could still drop in at the skate park. Still got it. So. Okay, so, <laughs> still got it. <laughs> Funny. It's cool. It's man. fun. Like I'll, I'll probably be back there because it is. It's a good exercise too. Just like if you got ten minutes to kill, like just go fucking around at the skate park. And it's a good workout. Different muscles and everything. Yep. And yeah, that high speed stuff, man. You know, I've seen several like YouTube videos of just like whether it's rollerbladers or skateboarders just going down like like the Alps. You know, that kind of stuff where they're just super fast apparently they know i mean i don't know they know traffic's not coming or but i mean it's just total laid out 60 right. i don't know well our hill climb challenge is coming up next and i always look forward to that one because i'll try to hit 60 going down the grand mesa on my road bike Ow. i think i'll be able to do it this year <laughs> Get up. if i can if i can if i can draft off a car for a section i can do it throw a line out <laughs> Yeah. There you go. The onesie. <laughs> I used to have one of those, believe it or not. <laughs> Shave all the hair off. Yeah, you want to win. <laughs> so you start, it starts in Cedar Edge and goes to the top and back. Yeah, it goes, starts at, at my shop. Um, it's a, it's a perfect 20 mile ride from my shop to the county line trail. And then I might be able to get a food truck to show up there. 
and we'll just have a little picnic. Cool. Otherwise, we'll just pack food and eat. Where is this county line trail that everybody keeps talking it's about? It's literally at the county line between Delta and Mesa County on top of the Grand Mesa. So where we parked today at the visitor center, it's about another two, three miles up. <gasps> And it's the summit. It's the summit of the I, highway. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I've seen this. And then there's a trailhead there, and that's where they do like the Nordic Nordic ski trails in the wintertime. So there's bike trails there now, and it's relatively flat, but it's really pretty like this and nice single track, and okay, it's cool. an awesome ride. Okay, good to know. We'll, we'll be sure to go out there again um, this, this summer, so like, definitely we'll let you, let you know. It's a good part of the region. I think I've been up here like three weeks. I want to take this bike on County Line because I never have. I've only done it on my fixed gear. Cool. <laughs> fixed gear makes it a whole. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. It's fun though. It makes it very technical. I'm sure. <laughs> and I only crashed once the last time I went. <laughs> my feet don't stop moving. My feet don't stop moving. My Until they hit a rock. <laughs> like that's what happened. I clipped a rock with my pedal. Yeah, you gotta coordinate it. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, and it's just, it's it's a peril. You can't avoid it. <laughs> in Chacos? Oh yes. <laughs> I was in Chacos with the same kind of straps and everything. Oh, That's how way. I roll. <laughs> you ever done critical mass before? No. So fun. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I. I just move a lot, so I kind of miss like larger events, you know. I got gotcha. you. But um. Well, they pretty much happen in any city at the last Friday of any month, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Of course, not around here. <laughs> no, they might have a small cruiser yeah. ride or something, but yeah. nothing that I've ever heard of. I mean, you would have thought that like I was in Vancouver for like, three years. I would like to put something together like in Delta to do like a Wednesday night cruiser ride or something. We start at like eight o'clock at night. That would be kind of hot. That would be That was a good one. A little smoother than last year. Yeah, that's good. Well, Marty, she didn't break apart. Yeah, she was shaking pretty good. <laughs> it's a Schwinn.
might actually work out a deal with uh, with Denise over at Sips on Main in Cedar Edge. Well, she owns a wine bar. I'm already coming to that ride. And, uh, Go ahead and set it up now. <laughs> yeah, I went to Sips up uh, first time maybe last weekend. I had a friend there. This place is awesome. Let's see, is this the road that we want? Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure that this is the road that we want to be on. Hmm. I can't remember, damn it. <laughs> Dudes. Sure, we didn't miss Surface Creek. I've never been here. Yeah, like I don't remember having to cross a second cattle guard. Well, I didn't see any road that said Surface Creek. No, it just says Forest Service Road, whatever. But I'm pretty sure that we passed it. Maybe not. Who's got GPS? <laughs> the turned off was that one back there that went down to that lake. Granted, I've only run this like three times, but I don't remember doing this part. <laughs> um, if we go, if we continue on this road, it'll take us to Stevens Gulch over above Paonia, <laughs> which is, you know, 30, 40 miles from Cedar Edge. Are you saying we got to turn around? I think so. Yeah, I'd rather it's... turn around than go an extra 40 miles. That's just my But uh, I got to go catch Tim first and make sure he doesn't just ride. So if you guys can figure out uh, do you the map, have, do you have surface? Yeah, let's see where I'm going to go grab Tim if I can, if he's not ahead of me. And of course, uh, of course, Dan lives up here, so he knows the roads a little better too. Oh, there he is. Hey, dude, did we miss our turn? I could have swore it was that last one down, down about a mile back. You missed it? I'm pretty sure that was Surface Creek. I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need somebody to check a map if they got yeah, some. Because like I don't remember crossing this this cattle guard okay. and going up this hill. Yeah. I think we're headed up towards Stevens Gulch, dude. Yeah, I started going downhill. Like I'm not going downhill. If you see somebody else. I've got a map. Let me see. You want to check? You'll know. I just found our dot. We're going to have to figure it out. It's not service. It's just um, GPS. Yeah, we missed it. I knew it. So, yeah, back there where we where you checked the sign. Yeah. That was like right here, and we right. just kept on going. So, yeah, we need to turn around. We're okay. supposed to turn on Surface Creek, which is... Well, good news is downhill. There's no sign. It's just there. Right? We hear campground. Turn for Weir Campground, or is it before that? It's just before that. Where that reservoir road was? Yeah. Trickle Park, Trickle Creek. Yeah, see, we are here. Our turn is here. We go from Lakeshore to Surface Creek here. Super. And then that takes us down, 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 all the way to Crowls. Love it. So, I thought so. I saw this. This cattle guard and this big hill. I'm like, that doesn't look familiar. That's not normal. Thank you, Lydia. I hate Everybody cattle guards. Am I the only person that hates cattle guards? This is the first time I actually made Only if you have to go yeah. the wrong way. <laughs> That's all good. Even driving over them, I'm always like, ooh, they just give me like creeps in my back. All right, well, should be all downhill from here. Don't wear out your brakes. <laughs> brakes? What are those? 
We don't need brakes where we're going. We don't need, we don't need no stinking brakes. Yep. It's funny, those memories that stick, man. Those cattle guard memories, like, I learned my lesson that day. It's actually been a great summer. We haven't been all smoked out. Yeah. Like every summer prior to this in August, it was just a cloud of smoke. Yeah, lots of fires. Lots of rain. So the rest of it is more like double track Jeep trail type riding. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. I mean, it starts out like this, but it'll kind of narrow up in some sections there. And does this go? It goes to the corrals, which is the end of the forest service line. And then it's gravel road for like a mile or two. And then it turns to paved road. And then we'll just ride paved all the way back to the shop. <laughs> it, there kind of is. No, it's more of a, more of a just like you just have to recognize a few features. But yeah, I was looking for a sign too because even I wasn't sure. Like, are you? And those guys are going that way. Like, maybe they know where they're Let's going. Go that way. <laughs> yeah, it's not Tim's first time. Timeline. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even look familiar. Right. Well, the last time we were here, it was so foggy with smoke, we probably did look different. Tim, Tim needed no, knew I needed some more cardio. Yeah, yeah that was He's it. like, this guy's not sweating enough. He's, he hasn't lost 15 pounds in, bot, in water weight yet. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Tim's going to smoke all of us down this hill.
Oh man, I forgot about this one. Okay, dragonfly. Leave your bike.
got the same line of thought that I did. What's that? more like the actual Marin County clunker run. It's steep. <laughs> I'm on my brakes the whole time.
He beat me by about 50 feet. Oh, I took a little pit stop. Okay. Yeah, had to had to visit nature for a I minute. I was actually like really worried. I was looking around. I was like, I hope I didn't turn and I didn't see him do it. And I, I usually. Why isn't everybody caught up with me? <laughs> so yeah, we're waiting for Dan. He should be right behind me, and then Ken. Ken took a pit stop too. But yeah, wasn't that mad fun? Look at the smile on your face. <laughs> This is actually Lola's first real ride. Yeah, like... I'm proud of you, Lola. And this is the first time I've taken this bike on this particular run. And I have to say, this one's more intense than our other clunker run on Grand Mesa Road. Wow. Is Dan still like riding? the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Tim made it in first. He's our winner. Ah. <laughs> nice. Dude. But you didn't leave us a wicked skid at the end. A wicked skid will be my body. Big bloody. Mine's right there. Nope. Dude, the vibration's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm just like, I can't even imagine. Like my teeth are just like, and literally just like the vision of like. <laughs> now you know what's up. Yeah, now I know what's up. I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm <laughs> the kung fu grip, dude. I'm, I'm trying to like, because you can't totally let go. <laughs> but like, it's just like crazy. That, that was that was I was just saying to her that that was I think a little more intense for a. A coaster brake bike than our other run we do old, on old Grand Mesa Road. That one's tamer, I think. That one's tamer than. Like, there's just. This one's just fucking steep. Yeah, yeah it just keeps it's, going. And you've got and all I'm, the ATVs. You need yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to, like, protect my brake, you know. The only the difference time. is over on now and the second part is really rough. There's just rocks and baby head rocks everywhere. So you, you just can't get going that fast on a bike like ours because you're just dodging rocks. Yeah. Woo. Your bike would just float over it, like. <laughs> Sweet. And same with his. You just air down your tires there, Ken. You'd float over those rocks, too. Yeah. You could run over all the babies in the world. <laughs> the baby heads. The hovercraft. <laughs> okay. Woo. Yeah. That's fun, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Damn. That's a lot of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm mean, sure it's, it's bouncy. It is. <laughs> Yeah, well, congratulations! You won the clunker run. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, did we get another rider? For we the got we we yeah. multiplied. Yeah. Very cool. Man, I need to get up like that. I need to get a suite. I need some armor for sure. Yeah. Still hoping to avoid the wipeout here. <laughs> yeah. At least you got armor in your tires. I know, man. The bike will be fine. There's the chatter on the front. I'm just looking like, oh, front wheel, please don't come off. Like. But it's not. I'm not quite sure. I, yeah, I, I think that's brakes or something. Yeah, it's something else in here. I haven't figured it out. I always noticed that too when I was riding it. <laughs> just like, where is my front wheel? But I never just... took it down like you You broke it in just now. <laughs> I've never taken it down the mountain before. Well, the 59 Corvette. I'm, I'm very <laughs> pleased. I'm very <laughs> proud to be the owner of this. <laughs> and then the seat. I, I didn't do any. I didn't change a thing with anything. You know, I just hopped on it. Nice. But it's comfy. Like, this is a nice, normal comfy. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, good old together. American Schwinn. <laughs> I feel like I can envision the forks flexing, but I can't tell if that's my... my yeah, your brain just yeah, needs a rattle. Yeah, my quadruple vision. Yeah. Everything's just kind of shaking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, they flex. <laughs>